infinite in the deck too, but they are with the same card. Elm of the Host and either Aurelia or Godo. So if you don't want me to play it, I won't play it. <laughs> I, will, I will just put the Elm of the Host on something else. I have no problem with that. There's no harm. We'll see how she rolls in the, in the game and then we'll go from there kind of ordeal. This one. So I have nothing else to say. All right. Nothing wrong there. My name is Chris. As you know, all it is, I am playing Essex Fractal Bloom. This is a deck I got for a Secret Santa one time. I added some tweaks to it because it's just the representation of what you could say Simic is. is just super silly things that makes an awkward board state. It's a slight above the budget mindset, but it's still crazy, crazy fun. So that's the goal is trying to make as many tokens as possible and win from there. So on to you, Jay. Awesome. Uh, I am Jay. Uh, I'm not new to magic. I've been playing for like a year and a half, but like in terms of knowledge, I feel like I'm still pretty new. Um, I'm deciding to play Halvar tonight, and um, it's because Halvar is my win con, um, and I like that he gets big and Voltrons and everything. Yeah. Voltron is always fun. You can't go wrong with Voltron. Oh, uh, you can find me uh, on Twitter, uh, JK31415. It might be Jamin. Boom. All right, and then Casey, how about yourself? Huh? <laughs> Are you muted? Casey, muted. I, I knew I was muted. Oh, okay. You have no proof that I started my steal whatsoever. Uh, it, it's been a while. Um, I'm Casey, also with Value Engine 88, Twitch, uh, YouTube, Instagram, all of that stuff. And this week is my first week not being in college for the next four months or whatever. Hell yeah. Be. So I'm hoping to do weekly streams for the next three to four months and hopefully be able to keep it going once it's a regular thing in college again as well. Huh? Solid win right there. <laughs> for today, though, we're bothering Chris again. Uh, he's going to get to see Nero Wild Mage. This is a Chaos Commander. Um, normally, I will disclaimer Chaos for my deck. I... Don't try and mess around with other people's boards in the effects of like Warp World and things like that. And that's what it is. There's this is a Storm deck as well. Storm Chaos, not gonna flip into any big Eldrazi or anything like that. <laughs> and last thing I have to say about the deck is I do have Lutri the Spell Chaser in the 99. Oh, um, can't that play is now. fun. No, with no me. I don't know. I don't know. I like to play by the rules yeah. here. <laughs> okay, if we want, we can go and say it's a gold caster mate, which I've learned firsthand. I've had like three games I would have won due to combo if Lutri was a dual caster mage. Uh, that's grand. Yep, yep. I would love to see Lutri in play, so you're more than welcome to keep the otter as said otter. Yep. Uh, in the club at the college that I run, we have Lutri house on band and only house band as companion because we're small enough we know. Everyone knows that's the actual problem. Yeah, exactly. All right, Jay, just watch your hand a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I kind of see it, but we don't. <laughs> I'm trying to find a hand I can play. Yeah, you can draw as many. Basically, you do you. It's, we're, we're pretty even, easy going here. Uh, in the meantime, you want to randomize the order? Yep, and I'm going to randomize it right again. Do oh. one. Nothing happened. One, two, three. And magic number four. All right, so I'm on the play. Whenever you are ready, Jay, we'll let, we'll do take the go and we'll go from there. I will take this because I will take it. All right, fair enough. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start off. I'm going to draw. I'm going to play an island. Tap the island for a Mystic Remora. Mr. Remora Ooh. being a uh, punitive upkeep of one. I have to pay the additional from there. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, I draw a card unless you pay four. Don't feed the fish. That's feed the general the goal. I'm not, I'm not going to feed the fish on... Unless if you beat the fish, you have to kill the fish. That's, yes. the, that's the rule. Okay. But I will pass the turn after fun. that. Okie dokie. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a plane. I'm going to tap that plane. I'm going to play a soul ring. And... Oh, All right. Oh, Shorty no. feed the fish. Yeah. Are you going to kill the fish now? <laughs> oh, I can't. We, we just went over these rules. <laughs> It's a fair turn one, though. It's fair. If there's any... Who was the that... following turn one? Yeah, exactly. Is it my turn, or you have something else, Jay? 
believe uh, she is good. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a card. I have a fur turn one play, kind of. I'm gonna play a for weak Garm Snarl revealing a plane. And I'm gonna play a, a Spur Sentinel. Whoa, it's one of those games, I say. I mean, you have a fish. <laughs> I have my kind of fish. This is one of the few non legendary yes. cards. It is just too good. And I have it and I have it in my Winota, so it, 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 if I do the deck one day, it's gonna be in because I I, I won't have to pay for it. Yeah, it's very, very I'm fair. Gonna, I'm gonna pass a turn to you, Casey. When I nam nam, I'm overweight. Scrapping nerd hurts. No. Our alert is was Oreos peanut butter. <laughs> uh, I'll be the only disciplined one here and and I mean, ago. I was disciplined. I didn't feed the yeah. fish. You added the problem. That doesn't count. <laughs> There's a mild additional <laughs> problem. Uh, Alright, untap. Pay the one. Because I had nothing in hand. Lumbering falls tapped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards in hand. Pass the turn. Oh. Oh, you are all paying for magic. Untap. Oh. Is it my turn? It is your yep. turn. Planes for turn. Um, I'm gonna tap all of this to bring out Halvar. Get all right. started. Halvar. Oh, oh god. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card. Okay, this is fine. I'm gonna play a common tower, and I'm gonna play a burrow signet. I guess I'm gonna swing one at the uh, one at Chris because yep, you, have, you have a <laughs> you have a fish. Yes, and it's very fair. I'm gonna sw be swung up probably by Jay. <laughs> <laughs> This is fine with me. It is up to you, Casey. All right. Do Fiery Islet. It's the pain line that I can sack to draw a card. Mm -hmm. And this is the best way to play things. We will do two mana, lose one for a talisman and creativity. They go. You're going to pay one? <laughs> uh, no, I won't pay for either. All right. Okay. Draw. I'm not going to lie. I forgot they were on board. Otherwise, I would play something <laughs> <laughs> But you said you you need to destroy the thing. All right, well, it's I going to be destroyed I, I now because I'm not paying two mana. No, that is for yeah. sure. I was the last one that took a game action and the fish ended up being destroyed. So. Yep. Okay, so I will do... That is a good way to, to, to see it. <laughs> Island yeah. into Elemental Bond. Are you going to pay one? I am not paying the one, so you can draw off of that. Thank you. Yeah, I forgot so, all. I'm not sure say this to ask every time. Nah, it's, we all have to do it. So uh, Elemental Bond is whenever a creature with power three or greater enters the battlefield, I draw a card. Uh, how I have, or how I handle the Rhystic effects or other taxation effects is I just leave it onto my opponent. So I'll be like, just let me know if you're going to pay the one ahead of time or not. Mm. or And I'll stop asking you. But if you don't let me know, then I'm just going to keep asking you. It's fair. Uh, pass turn, Jay. Untap. Keep draw for turn. Um, that was weird. Okay, I'm gonna pop in another planes. Um, I'm going to tap one, and I'm gonna play enlightened tutor. Mm -hmm. uh, Are you paying one? I thought it was for creatures. No, it is not creature. Yeah, so, na so na now it's uh, any non creature is only one. So my fish is dead, but now yep. there's the. Uh, as person to know, oh, Rusty that's... Buddy. But it's anything okay, whatsoever. Cool. It is only uh, one, I... one once each yes. turn, so you're not gonna pay. Yeah. Okay, one. Responsible player. It's a little bit better than once per turn. It's the first for each player, right? Yeah. So if, like someone plays a counter spell on the light to or that yeah. triggers too. Just watch your hand, mm -hmm. Jay. Uh, oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move to combat. What, what are you getting? Well, you, you with gotta search your... for uh, the e tutor first. Oh, first? Yeah, you gotta search yeah. for that yep. and put it on top of your library. Well, and you do also have to show us what it is. Correct. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, last night I've been playing some CDH on uh, Magic Online. Mm -hmm. And a funny thing kind of happened where I was playing TNT, Timnon Thrasios. Yep. Yeah. Ended up instant, like, flashing on a even mind sensor in response to someone playing an enlightenment to oh, yeah, which yeah. that same player flashed it, or passed a worldly tutor <laughs> so yeah. the worldly <laughs> tutor resolved they got to put whatever they wanted on top but then yeah. even mind sensor hit and then enlightened tutor said they could only look at the top four and then they had to shuffle away anyways 
So mm-hmm. hopefully. <laughs> uh, Lux yeah. is on Warhammer on top, right? Yeah. If it was Alexander not Warhammer. Yeah. After what? You can go to combat now. You, yeah, you go to combat. Oh, moving to combat, I'm gonna hit Ares for four. Oh, I'm the only one not drawing like a million cards. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I feel bad about hitting people, so I'm just going to hit you guys in order. Also, oh, me first, I guess. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. this is fine. This is only four at the moment, so it is fine. I will pass turn. Yeah, it's those turns where uh, Alvar hits oh. like eight, eight damage or uh, nine, uh, damage. What am I talking about? Eight damage or like ten at a time. Then it's a problem. Yeah, uh, next turn. Okay. This is fine. Oh, one, two, three. I guess this is where will be fine. Uh, I'm gonna play uh, plane. I need to ramp, so let's go. I'm gonna play Arcane Skin yet. Uh, do I play something else? I guess so, because why not? Uh, you have them in. I'm gonna play. Do. I'm gonna play the fairest card in Magic. I'm gonna play Dark Side Extortionist. Oh, Ducky. Uh huh. So that's gonna be three. Three. Yeah. This is fine. This is a fair dark side, I guess. I feel like a fair dark side is one that you net even or less. Yeah. Yeah, kind of, I guess. Uh, do I play something else or I keep the mana up for something next turn? Uh, I, I need to get a board to be able at least to block. So I'm going to pay for... And I'm going to play Odric. A start tactician. Oh, jumping right it into does... it. Ah. Uh, whenever Odric a start action and at least three other creature attack, you... Can, I can choose which creature block is combat and all these close creature block. So essentially, if I can uh, attack with four creature, are unblockable, Ooh. kind of. Thanks for following, humble. Hope you've been uh, good, brother. Um, I'm gonna swing at you, J, for one with the Esper Sentinel. Okie dokie. And that's your turn, AC. Uh, hmm. play a River Glide Pathway. Yeah. I think I just have to keep setting up. Uh, Primal Amulet, I'm not paying the one. So okay. instant first rate spell, if I cast, cost one less to cast. And whenever I cast an instant first rate spell, put a card counter on this card. There's four or more card counters, flip it, and remove those counters. And that flips into a land that taps their mana of any color and doubles instant and sorcery so that I cast with that. One mana. And I'll take off. Thank you for following, Virtue. Right, untap and draw. I'm going to do mm-hmm. a Dream Root Cascade, ETB, and I'll take control of two or more other lands, and then tapping four for a Reconnaissance mission. Uh, whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I may draw a card, and I have cycle for two, so we can play it for the four, and I will then pass the turn after that. I'm going to draw a card. That you is. It is kind of anti-synergistic with my commander, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It is indeed so. I will then pass the turn to Jay. Alrighty. Oh, right. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Um, I'm gonna play a, another planes. Um, um, I'm gonna drop three to play Locks of Warhammer, and then I'm gonna drop three more to equip them to Halvar. With That's Halvar. Gonna hurt. You don't How have hard? to uh, do the attachment. You can, with the three remaining, you can pay the one to for the S for Sentinel taxes. And then uh, at the upkeep, then you can uh, do uh, it, is not a, it is not an upkeep, it is a combat. I mean, uh, uh, at the beginning of uh, combat, is what I meant to say. Because yep. the Hellfire's ability, yep. it'll, it'll auto attach that one equipment for you. I, at the beginning of each combat, you may attach target or our equipment to yeah. a creature you control. So we need Alvar in that case. Everybody yeah. always glosses over that one part. I can yep. attack target or equipment attached to a creature you control to target creature you control. So it has oh. to already be attached oh. to before I can do it. Interesting. Everybody Ooh. glosses over the attached to creature you control. Ah, it's so I funny. Never read yeah, over. seriously. I've always. Thank you for. Yeah. I learned something tonight. This is why this word is so weird. So, yeah, Elgar but... now has Double Strike, he has Trample, and he has Life Link. He's still a yeah, beast, but. That, it's kind of hard to <laughs> learn our lesson well, now we die. <laughs> now you swing into Chris for trying to correct you, right? Yep, I think that's fair. <laughs> I'm going to move to combat. Uh, I'm very sorry, Chris, but it's coming yeah, to you. That's very, very fair to this one. <laughs> I will not correct you again. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. It's 14. 14. Oh. Commander damage. Oh, oh God. 
Can you get the game fourteen now too? Because of luck. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I guess I have something. But <laughs> guys, there's a cat outside my door, and I come back. <laughs> Man, cat ran away. Okay, so. Did you take all that? I took every bit of that. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought you were going to block with something. I got nothing. These are just enchantments. Oh, I thought those were creatures. I'm so sorry. Nah, now's your time. Well, it's got trample anyway, so now's your time. True. Well, if it makes you feel any better, that means that Metal Emanuel is going to get hit with more if I have another equipment. We shall All right, see. Pattern. It's fine. Well, I'm going to play a plane. Uh, one. I'm going to play a Lorien of the Third Path. There you go. Uh, when, it, when it hit EBs, I can destroy target, uh, up to one target artifact or enchantment. Uh, I'm going to destroy that Luxodon War Armor because you said you are going to swing at me. Yeah. And I'm fucking scared. They indeed had done so. <laughs> It's only fair that I'm swinging at you because I already swung at the other two. I'm just being fair. It's not super true. I need, I, I need, to, be, I like I, to, I be need to not be dead. <laughs> <laughs> what up, useless? Okay. Uh, oh, no way. I only have three mana left. Mm. Uh, boy. I still need blocker. So how, gonna... did you, how did you do that to me? With all uh, with Lauren. Lor Lauren of the third path. The Enter the battlefield a trigger. Yep. That's why you up to one target, and I can tap it and choose an up target opponent, and we each draw a card. Uh, nearly strictly better Reclamation Sage and White. Yep, it is like Reclamation Sage and White. Uh, I'm gonna go to combat, and I'm gonna swing one Dark Side at you, uh, Casey, and one as person to know at you. I guess. the one. I'm just ma making the life of this old bit. the bear. <laughs> uh, uh, yep, and I'm gonna pass the turn. All right. Well, hmm. Hi, City of Breath. Another painful land. That's Doge. Yes. Hello, Doge. I love oh, you. Oh. Got dogs Doge. Hello, friendo. Yes, I keep doing nothing <laughs> except hurting myself. Because this time I take two damage for my mana and play a double vision. The oh, first oh, nice. it's not a bad thing to lose life to. I, copy it. <laughs> I would like to get more relevant things on board at the moment, but that's just not how it's not to be honest. I do nothing I mean, to like turn seven. You are setting up so very well, yes. <laughs> very yeah. well. Hopefully I can do cool things before I die. I'm not <laughs> gonna think. die. My board is not Well, as we saw, Jay can just dome someone for fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore, at least. At least for a turn, more. essentially, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they could do like um, two mana do lightning grease, or I guess lightning grease doesn't work with Elvar. Two mana split foot boots, equip, play a colossal hammer, yeah, activate Elvar on combat. So four mana, that that'd be crazy. I'm sure there's even better ways to do it. Yeah. Uh, are you doing anything after that? No, I'm tapped out. Oh, I uh, forgot. Uh, uh, do you pay one? Oh. I'm tapped out, so no. Oh, that is good. I drew a good card. All right. Yeah, this is my non-creature deck, so it's pretty rough into a... Best person to know. Best person to know, yeah. We got Float of Mana, Gas, Semi Growth Chamber, the mm -hmm. Bounce Land. We can't do anything, which is very unfortunate, so I'm going to have to just pass the turn. No! You, you, did, miss a, you did miss an end drop. No. no. Like... Kind of. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, pass turn. Is that me now? That is you. Yep. All right, untap, upkeep, draw from a turn. Did you, did Wanna you play the Miria, the Sky Ruin? Comes oh, yeah. tap. Right off the guard. Um. I'll watch the stairs. I gotta get those scrubby shit. Or at least get the base. Put down. All right, I'll wait. All right, I'm gonna tap. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm hmm. I'm gonna play Argentum Armor. Woohoo! Alright, well, that's basically the uh, game. LOL. And I will. Oh. Um. Please. I'm gonna hold off from going to combat. I'm gonna save it. So, pass turn. Yeah, that's gonna. Yep. Oh, that's gonna be nasty next turn. Just check her mm -hmm. in the corner. I'm gonna well, rock. You should have left the Locked on Warhammer. The button well, it's, it's good that we didn't <laughs> leave the Locked on Warhammer in this case. <laughs> Yeah, because you would have been able to put that on for free this turn, right? If it was equipped with yeah, the Warhammer, right? Yeah. Or does the equipment no, have to yeah. be attached? I think you need to be attached to another creature. That is so weird. It's, oh, not, it's uh, mono white. It doesn't mono cheat white. on equipment cost. 
That's interesting. Five, so my five. goal is to build a monocolor deck for all the colors. I'm gonna play Jeru and Azareth. Uh, I don't. Uh, I have seven card in hand, so I will probably not get not get the vigilance and ace. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's fine. Uh, when it attacks, I can look at the top six card of my library. You may exile a legendary card and cast it for free, technically. Uh, I'm gonna go to combat. Uh, Going with all your several creatures. I mean, they are. I need to make the life a little bit lower. Uh, I'm gonna full swing at it yep. is five, seven, and yeah, I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose to make them unblockable, unblockable because of Audric. You said seven. You're like, I got plenty of life. I, I'll take the seven. Yeah. <laughs> at the same time, exactly. AJ can't block because of Miss Turn will block there. Uh, and I'm gonna pass the turn and see if some people need card to draw. That's your turn, Casey. I've played a lot of games with. Um, Audric, to people not reading the card or listen to me when I read the card. Oh yeah, did a card I I play. It is fine when you want to do a combat deck. You it is white. You put that card in the deck. Yeah, it just makes sense. My first creature, guys. Uh, oh, Goblin right. Electromancer. I mean, you, oh yeah, you're an you're in Central Sorcery cost two less. Mm -hmm. For the first yeah. one, yeah. For the first, the one, first is, one, yeah. I think we do take advantage of right now, just because I need to hit a land drop. Um, pay one. I'll take one. Um, I won't be paying for the against over there. I'll oh, that's kid awakening. That's a hit. It is fine. So I'm gonna work hard. So we'll put a counter on my primal amulet. I'll represent that in a second. Uh, it gets copied, so I will. Resolve the first one and put one card onto the bottom and draw two. And then the second one will resolve and I'll put the two that I just put onto the bottom. And, and it gets and you to where you gotta three. go. <laughs> three value. Okay, I did. I was gonna be upset at my deck if I played an MDFC to draw five cards to hit a land and didn't <laughs> hit a land. Don't, don't, forget, I, don't forget to put a counter on primal and amulet. Yeah. I just don't have dice to represent it, so I would okay, have to yeah. take time during my turn to do that. So I'm just going to do that after I pass. This is such um, good looking art. I love that land. I do. I do as well. Uh, it will pay two mana to put a spell war stone, and I will pass in there. Correct. I'm going to untap and draw. Do command tower. For six, I'm going to cast my commander. I'm going to mm -hmm. ETB draw a card because the uh, power is more than three. So I draw a mm -hmm. card. And I will then pass the turn. Discarding an evolving wild. All right, Jay, you're good? Hey. Untap the draw turn. I will play a planes for turn. Four, five, six. Almost there. Well, I don't have any creatures in my graveyard, so just um one, two, three, four, five, six. And so you equip the armor to Halvar. Is it an attack? Is it? It is an attack figure, right? Or armor? Sorry. Yeah, correct. It yeah. is an attack figure, right? Halvar yeah. is now a ten ten. Uh, yeah. With double strike. Whenever, whenever if you come my way, <laughs> I'm gonna destroy it. So whenever equip finger attacks, uh destroy target permanent. Yeah, if you come my way, I'm gonna destroy your creature. I'm Ooh, warning you. Might be time to press it. <laughs> I have white mana open. I'm just Let's giving you a warning. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I would say I can either be one of your best friends this turn or... I'm weighing my options because uh, I can... Ah, I have enough mana to replay Halvar next turn. That is oh, so oh, not like oh, oh, concerned about that. At the mm -hmm. same time... I have to pay for the for the armor again, yep. which we have to wait till the next turn. I just want you to to hit the expert set at all, honestly. That's that's what I want with the attack for you. Um, Yolo. Uh, so gonna... where's the attack trigger going? Before you Sorry. declare attacker, yeah, you gotta do yeah. It. because I want I want to know what your plan is with that attack trigger before I yeah same. <laughs> what do you want? They want to know what you uh, want to destroy with the um our death tomorrow. Oh, the double vision immediately. The double vision. Okay, so before you go to attackers, then I'm gonna wild magic third and then destroy 
target permanent and opponent controls, it'll get copied with double vision. Primal amulet will get a counter and I'll take one. So you're currently in your combat. I will destroy target permanent and that will be your Argumentium armor. Ooh. And then it'll get yep. copied and double vision will copy it and target the... I guess I can kill the Esper Sentinel on my own. Or are we scared of the Doron Hazard? I mean, you, you said you did want to destroy the Hesper Sentinel. I was hoping to... But at the same time, if you... <laughs> anything you destroy, you pr you can no. probably get something worse. Like, because I flip until I hit a creature, right? No, that's what I do, right? Since you destroyed my... You can... It'll flip until you hit an artifact. Oh, he, he did kill both of them. Okay. So then... what are you... What is the second, What's the second target? target? So if I hit Esper Sentinel, you would flip until you hit an artifact or a creature. But if yeah. I hit Dodaro, you'll just flip until you hit a creature. Yeah, your better bet is with um, just a creature option. Well, well, I, mean, I don't know what's in there, you know. I, I'm, a creature, I'm a creature deck, so... Yeah, I'm right now I'm scared of hitting Dodaro and they flip it into like an Emrakul. <laughs> I don't have an Emrakul. The, the biggest thing I have is probably Gisela. It's just kind of oh, scary stuff. I'll give you a Gisela if you flip into it. Okay, we'll hit Dodaro. All right. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so guys, Okay, Jaro. so I have to, um, I have to flip cards so I get another equipment, right? No, another Ar artifact. 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 Oh, artifact. artifact? Okay. And Metal will be doing theirs first if it matters. Oh right, yeah, yeah, because of the uh, or, or, no no oh Delina Wild Mage. Oh, it's not bad. When it's pretty good. It's pretty good, I guess. Uh, okay, it goes on the bottom, right? And the rest go on the bottom. Oh uh, yep. yeah, I think so. Random order, and then oh. now Jay, you can flip. now you flip. Yep. Oh, so many lands. God. <laughs> oh my God, that's where you're hiding. <laughs> oh, oh, that counts. That's that counts. A, yeah, that's an artifact. Artifact creature. Yeah, it's yeah. just an artifact in general. The other half doesn't make a difference. Okay. So that goes into the battlefield. I love that for myself. So it's not a bad hit for you either, so. Um. I mean, I'm pretty happy about Derina, to be honest. Yeah, it's solid. I can probably play the room is it and my turn? attack with it. It is, it is still your turn. You are in combat at the moment. Yep. So yep. now you're going to uh, declare attackers. You don't need to declare attacker, but you can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna pass. Alrighty. Before the end of your turn, Chris, please rock hard with me. That I shall. Didn't get anything, but thank you. <laughs> this I is mean. actually very upsetting. Now I feel like I have to do things. Cold run deck tend to be like the target of people with, and I don't understand why. Like, sure, you can kill someone. Oh, everyone is gonna do spooky thing. You definitely have to play politics while you're playing a Voltron deck because right there you could have easily got a 10-10 double striker to attack yeah. and destroy something on attack. It just, you didn't do like any like politicking where I was like we both have answers. We're going to play an answer depending on what you're going to do. You just kind of have to be like, alright, I'll take what I can get this turn, get the value and then move on to the next. Uh, Whereas right. now you just kind of get blown out. I'm gonna put this card on the okay. bottom. I'm really bad at politics. So we all I'm bad at it too. Okay. I'm still learning how to do that. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna pay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna play Jeru again. What? Because <laughs> it got destroyed. Did not expect uh, that. I mean. I have eight cards in the hand or something. Like I have nine cards in hand. <laughs> Because, I mean, with this person, all it seems like I won't. Uh, but I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna attack full swing at you, Iris. I mean, I mean, you're probably the biggest threat, or maybe the biggest threat. It depends on really what it Because I help with. with the other problem, come on. Uh, I'm gonna deal with the other problem <laughs> after. Uh... And I, I would say Chris is pretty well set up as well. But I I understand. I'll take my I'll take my my swing. Okay, so I'm gonna choose. Oh yeah, if I do that. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do the the Lina trigger. Yep. And I'm gonna choose Jeru Nazareth, and the token is not. How can I say it? Oh, I don't get no, the trigger, right? Yes, yeah, so you want your own, your best option would be uh, dark side. If oh, dark side is insane on this. It board. is probably gonna be dark side. Yeah. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, eight men. Uh, that that seems fair, right? And uh, you can get it, more. It, maybe get more. 
if anyone has removal while he's targeting it, yep. now will be the time to use it on Dockside. I have nothing. Yeah. I'm tapped out. Do you have anything where are both tapped out? Like Pat the Exile, Thor. What is Dockside? Dockside is the one that needs to be Possibly is it, 16, is it a creature? Is it, what is it? Creature. That's a creature. Um, what is it doing? Yeah. When 80 dBs, I can create X treasure token where X is the number of artifact or enchantment your opponent control. And now with Delina, I can make at least one copy, maybe more depending of my ro rolling dice. Yeah, they have a hundred percent chance to get eight treasure tokens, yep. a seventy-five percent chance to get sixteen, and then it just staggers down farther to get yeah, twenty-four. Yeah, once one, I'm gonna exile the dark side. <laughs> This is fine. All right, sweet. You get yeah. one mana instead of like twenty-four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with my search my library, view library. I'm gonna go get a mountain, enter tap, shuffle. Okay, this is less spooky, it seems. <laughs> mm. I'm taking uh, my I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And this is on tap. Uh, so six, twenty. I'm down to twenty-four. All right. Uh, yeah, I think don't think I have an, anything else. I, I'm not sure how many cards I, I have. Nine cards I have to discard too. Ah, God. It was a weird thing to say when you're playing Boros. I guess I'm going to discard Urbrask, the first one, the OG one. And <laughs> Mr. Talia? Stax Talia? I appreciate that. Uh, no, I'm not going to discard that. I have an another idea. Uh, you see, uh, you, you saw I have Talia. I don't really care. It's going to be Aurelia. There is no shenanigans. Don't be afraid. It is of your Wait. turn, basically. I always love drawing a card for turn and being like, now what do I do? <laughs> That's a magic card that I can play. Uh, Hemisphere's Insight, I'll draw four and copy it. Yeah. Well, I'll draw two, two and twice. draw yeah. four to copy it. Yeah. Are, you gonna pay, are you going to pay one? If okay. four cards and you're discarding the whole size, you can uh -huh. have your card. Okay. I, uh, I have so many cards I want to play in my end and I'm like, I don't have the mana for it. I'm going to pay two mana and discard a Dingus staff <laughs> yeah. to recast right. Chemistry's Insight for my graveyard. It'll put Primal Amulet to four, it'll transform. Thanks for the follow, Jay. <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> I'm not sure why you have Dingus staff in the deck. But I love the card. Dingus staff? I just love so the card, but at the same time... Uh, not... This is a non-creature deck, and whenever someone like has like creatures die, I oh, can just yeah. look at them and be like, "Look at you, dingus, having creatures <laughs> that die. What a dingus! I... Take two damage." Some people. <laughs> that's the whole point. That's literally. I'm always, that's, I'm that's always a dingus, so that is fine. <laughs> um. Okay. So we are going to. I'm sad that I lose my. I lost my dark side, but it will have been so fucking dumb. That would have been insane. <laughs> Ponder. Ba, 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 ba. So I'll look at the top three and then draw a card. So long as I don't want to reshuffle, um, draw my card. And then we will play uh, two damage on my land using the mana from Primal Wellspring. And just to make sure. To play Mind Desire. Ooh. Or count of three. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, God. Please that don't hit something good. Please. So, I will shuffle because I know it's on top of my deck. It is a pretty art. I never saw that mind yeah, desire. Yeah, that art is flawless. From the vault lore, I believe. I bet this V16 it is written, right? Yeah. Yeah, this was the card that I drew and I was like, huh, that's a magic card. It's certainly a magic card. Please don't hit anything. Please don't hit anything. Land, land, so... land. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fucking God, Christ. Almighty. Okay. <laughs> well, then... Oh no. Aether <laughs> Flex Reservoir, Niv Mizzy. Okay, and... this, this, this is probably the two best hits in this entire deck. Yep. Command yeah. Tower, that's a whiff, and then the original for an Arcane S Signet. Signet. Okay. I mean, the, the, the uh, Aether Flex Reservoir is not gonna really trigger. I mean, it's a uh, May ability, so you, you know, there's no worry. <laughs> and and, and, at, uh, and KC is at 22 life, so. Yeah, it's one of those. It brings me life, though. Where did the Mind's Desire go? I go to the Grave. I did have to double check that. I was like, this seems like one of those cards that would 
just mm-hmm. go to exile right away. But uh, so I'll play the Aetherflux Reservoir, and that brings Storm Count to five. Yep. We'll yeah. play Nivmit Niv Mizet Haru. All right, then you're gonna gain six. Storm Count to six. Yeah, to gain six. Love. And yet, so I get to gain six. At least you don't have any more mana. And then I'll play Arcane Signet. Storm <laughs> Count to <laughs> seven. So you're thirty-five. This is fine. You're not gonna get 250, right? <laughs> I don't Oof. think I have any Wondra. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I'm liking the niv Mizzet. I have niv Mizzet in one of my decks, but that's gonna be so fun. I have exactly seven cards in hand. Uh, whenever you draw a card, uh, yeah. All right, yeah you... Let's see what you got. All right. Let's see if you having six turns of setup can <laughs> do something similar. All right. And for turn, I have things, but I don't think it's gonna like stop you uh one two three four five six seven tap seven for a hornet queen uh-huh uh-huh, uh-huh. then the hornet queen is going to etb and make four one ones but due to essence's ability people. it's gonna make oh a hornet queen of each one so i make four more hornet queens which i make 16. <laughs> hey chris the do nothing for six turns game popping off on turn seven. So I have 16 B's and five two twos. Um, it's fine. See what happens now. <laughs> I, I mean, don't... they are all that touch, but at the same time, it's one of those, they are not yeah. that big. There are a bunch of little dudes you can ping down. So if B, so there's five of those and then 16 of the little things. I mean, we, uh, we all know who is the threat now. All right. The left side of the board, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven lands. Not seven lands. I have seven cards in hand. I will pass the turn after that. See what happens. I'm not giving you more card. That is for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna give you uh, a please draw a card with me. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna let you. Uh, he's gonna let you draw a card. So try to get an answer yeah, to something. Maybe. <laughs> Metal is still very scary as well. If they're just kind of I, I, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, 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 Arolia. Yeah. I'm not gonna sell to worries. I'm pretty scary, kind of. It's one of those points where like we're all pretty equally scary, but like not aggressively scary. And then tap two more to equip Sword of the Animus to Halvar. Um, I'm gonna move to combat. Um, let me check something. You, you, you can't swing. Uh, Chris, because you're just gonna you lose you can't your swing at Chris but because you can probably swing at either me or Casey. Yeah, for what it is right now, anyway. To be fair, Chris would have to lose like five. No, I can just do a single block. This doesn't have trample. Yeah, but they have double strike though, uh, so they won't gonna... lose Alvar. That's what I'm saying though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's got commander damage though? Um, me. Yeah, so it's uh, me and uh, Munsu's got it. Yep. Yeah. This I don't know like... who you guys are. Uh, metal. So build down metal. Uh, bottom of you and me on the uh, top left. Yeah. Top left and bottom right. Only so Chris and Yep. Yeah. Have Chris commander damage. And I'm pretty sure Casey doesn't want to lose Niv Mizzet. I do have a Goblin Electromancer that is solider. Yeah, kind of. But it is an attack trigger at least. And it's gonna make your life go down. Attack trigger just gets them a uh, basic from their deck. The attack trigger yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I guess. What is this, uh, metal? What's that red card on your... This one, they, this is my commander. This is a 5-4. And I, I'm not gonna black with my commander, that's for sure. I'm not gonna be happy if I lose the knife, but if you <laughs> have to do that, it's fine with me. <laughs> it must be, it must be. <laughs> yeah. Metal, I'm gonna come at you with Halvar and, um, Workshop Assistant. Workshop is like a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, it's a 1-2. I'm just gonna black it because... I want to, I want to you to have another equipment, so right? You yeah. can return equipment. Yeah. Hey, it's an art. And how I have double strike. I know. I'm gonna take ten, right? You do get your sort of the animus trigger as well. Yeah, so go look for a basic land from the battlefield. I'm gonna grab my Argentum armor back from my graveyard. Your end, right? And get a land. Well, I I I can't take another hit from Alvar. <laughs> Now it's uh, just you and I can't take one more hit now. Um, I can't take one more hit either, so long as there's that one hit and yeah. one or more damage. Up after. Okay. On top. Uh, do I do something at my upkeep? I guess so. I'm going to play a spell that is kind of funny. I never played before. I'm going to pay one, and I'm going to play Reinforcement. Oh, here we go. 
I put up the three target feature uh, from in my graveyard on top of my, of my library. So I'm gonna put Herbrask and Aurelia. I'm gonna put oh, Herbrask I first. Didn't miss it. Pretty sure I'll deal one damage to Lorraine. Oh, why, Lauren? Oh, but it, <laughs> since it is on cast, I can put it there, right? You can't target it with reinforcements after you already declared your target. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Okay, poop. Uh, in response to that, I'm gonna make myself and... Oh, yeah, but I don't need to fuck up this. If I rock card... Oh, yeah, okay, so this is fine, I guess. I'm gonna, oh, yeah, victory. They are still there. The target. I'm gonna draw a card and Chris draw a card. Please. Okay. Veronica. I'm gonna draw a card. Okay, and now I can put Herb, uh, Aurelia and Herbrask. And I'm gonna draw a card for the turn. Okay. I'm kicked out. <laughs> Reload spell table. You can be good though. And you're there you go. Uh, 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 uh. One, two, three. Why I play? That is the question. I need to keep mana up. Uh, three, four. I'm gonna play the other Rick. Uh, no, do I play? No, I want to get a vase. It's five. I'm gonna play Orbrask. Okay. Other one. I wish I had more mana. Yeah, heading the dark side a couple turns ago was pretty big. Uh, that sucks, but... Uh, one, two... I'm gonna play S3 on a Chrisinator that, that, that I can't activate this turn. It's still good to have though right now, though. Uh, that's gonna be good. If I survive until next turn, right? I'm gonna go to combat. Oh god. I need to keep block at least one blocker. And that's probably gonna be the sentinel, which is kind of sad. Uh I have no good target. If I had a good target, it would have been the Larvin with Delina, but now I have no good target. That is why I'm very happy I got to kill the Lauren. <laughs> I mean I'm gonna full swing at you. Right? Do, I you at Do I full swing at you or at Chris? Uh, at you, Casey. I mean all the game, you murderer, you murdered me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna murder get you. I murdered Lorraine. That was gonna murder like half my board if they got. You murdered my Jiru too. Murder for days. We're on more. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna. I did kill a god a couple times. I get two more. attack trigger. I'm gonna do Jiru first because maybe I can make a copy of something else, right? Well, you still have to declare your targets. Same with the. Yeah. Uh, Oh, uh, before? Once, uh, when you put the ability on the stack, you have to declare your target. That way. Okay, you so I guess I'm gonna make this another copy because it is my biggest creature. I'm gonna okay. reveal the top six. Already have. We already know it was there. M of those. That's cool. Oh, God. I'm not I'm not happy to see M on that pile. Okay. It's gonna be a rally up that, it, yep. that could be cast for free. And the rest go into exile. Uh, no, in the no, bottom. Bottom of the random. Third, and what I does. Okay. Uh, that was a really so cool I, play. I didn't realize that's why you played the reinforcements or whatever. Yeah, I play a reinforcement. I also play card that, like, I can put... I think it is this card, a card. No, it is, like, I can put a card on top and do some effect. And I play two of Toro's Enchantment just to put sometime the big dummy idiot that I can cast. And, yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do the Dillinger trigger. Maybe I will get more. Maybe I will get none. Uh, roll. No, it no. It was it was a twelve a twelve dice. Uh, roll a twenty seven dice. Fourteen. So I just make one copy, right? Yep. Yep. So there is a second. I do. I have a token. Copy. 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 So yep. I'll come at you because I'm still scared of that reservoir. So. It is 10, 14, 17, 20. And they are all unblockable. Okay. I take 20 to the face. Uh, it is exile at you. And a combat. Poop. I'm going to cast my Aurelia. I my second main phase. Mm. And I'm going to pass a turn and discard Alia and Elen. It is, your, it, is, it is your turn. I mean, my next turn is probably going to be good if I survive until then. So I thought I will. I will draw for turn, deal one damage to the Sentinel. By my little boy. <laughs> I killed the fish like 10 turns later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time for some math. Oh no, this is not good. 
I mean, you can be sure if I had still Lauren, it was the right move to destroy it with Nymph Mizet because the Razor War would have died for sure. Probably the double vision too. <laughs> yeah, that is so exactly that was, what I was scared of. That was the right play, so I'm not even mad. I'm just like, please let me live. <laughs> Okay, so... Mm -hmm. I'd like to return to a blue and one for not faster made from count one. Ah, uh, yeah, I have an answer to that cast. Ooh, Just in case. Because I don't want that the niv to be there for the long run because it's gonna wreck me. So I'm gonna sword the niv and answer to that. Alright, uh... Maybe you have a counter trigger. spell, but you know, I'm taking a risk. Alright, so Niv trigger first, one damage. So oh, I get to draw, draw a card and then one... Yep. yep. And we will gain off a, a bee, I guess, Chris. I'll hit okay. one of your bees. Yep. Bees. The bees are. That's All right, it. 15 and... bees left. <laughs> so now this is kind of annoying for the turn because I need a separate storm count. <laughs> All right, so that's. So Aether Flux, I cast one, and then storm count is at two. Yep. Um, we're going to. This is with Snapcaster on the stack, Chris. Yep. Yeah. Is double it... blue for a Narset reversal. Oh no! Wizard's battle. No. <laughs> and I'm going to target the source to plowshare, so I'll copy it, and then yours goes back to your hand. This miss it triggers. I get to draw a card and deal one damage. We'll just keep hitting. Yeah. I guess. And then my Narset reversal will, or my source to plowshare will hit the Aurelia. Yep. Yep. Rip. So hit oh, the ready. graveyard. Before that, I'll actually uh, gain. I, 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 I gained three life. And then Snapcaster will go to resolve. I'll gain two life with Aether Flux Reservoir. And it'll enter. Now I have to recount my mana. Yep, that is yep. what I was trying to do still, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe waste a little bit mm -hmm. of your mana. Five, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, still be just barely good. We will target the Ponder with the Snapcast image and cast it with the Primal Wellspring mana. Mm -hmm. So I'll get two Ponders. We will go to Storm Count Interflux hey. 3. Oh, Narset Reversal would have actually got doubled. Yeah. So the original Narset Reversal um, target the Sword. The Copy will target Narset Reversal. Get yeah. The Put the original back into my hand. The copy, yep. new copy of Narset Reversal will target the swords and we'll get the same result. Yep. But now the reversal is back into my hand. Yep. Which I think I would rather just have a second ponder at this point, but. Yeah, depending on what you have the force state. But at the same time, the double vision, you can't you can choose. So. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, no, I, I can't use yeah. what I double with the double vision. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'll look at the top three and. One. This is why I struggle so much with spell singer because you you have so many yeah, triggers. A lot of different things triggering, yeah. Yeah, uh, something that you definitely can't just build. You have to be in it for a minute. Um, Aether Flux, I'll go in three. Niv Mizza, I'll deal one to B and draw a card. Your B are dying! It's a extermination of bees. <laughs> I will pay six mana and take six. Two damage. Uh -huh. You play a Torrential Gear Hulk. Oh no. Storm count yeah. five. Aether Flux count four. I and know what four. are you targeting. I know. I I think my mind has a desire to target yeah. a very shiny <laughs> card in my graveyard. <laughs> um so it'll enter Mind's Desire will get half from my graveyard without paying its mana cost and get put into exile now so that'll go up to six aether flux five i will gain five go to 29 close to hitting off the uh, no it, no it is like it. trigger i'll just keep murdering the bees yeah because <laughs> i could go face eventually but i d don't want to do the math to go face eventually yeah because stars. you don't want to die because of the bees flying at you <laughs> yeah i mean they're just the easiest thing to pick off it's it's the brain dead play if I'm being completely honest. So storm trigger, I will get six copies of Mind Desire. Um, I'll shuffle once and then just flip from the top like I did last time. Yeah, resolving it the right way is kind of annoying to be honest. Like if the, I get it, 
because it completely stops top deck manipulation, but like, yeah. if you don't have top deck manipulation, it's like, you're just like flopping around, yeah. Imagine you hit like a brainstorm off the mind's desire. Yeah. It's, uh, I took it off camera, I didn't know if I took it off camera. So you guys keep gaining life, this is crazy. Yeah. Aether Flux Reservoir? Aether Flux Reservoir is a dawn card in general. <laughs> I need more copies yeah. of that thing. Um, Oh, like I said, imagine you hit a brainstorm and could just like put your best card from hand onto it. So brainstorm, blast from effect, Aaron Mesa, Bandle Blast, Displacer Kitten. Oh God, Kitten! Take for a propaganda, and then the original Mark the Thumbless. All right, so how many cards do you play right now, and what's the the count on the Aether Flux? If Aether I Flux is that. Five. I have one, two, three, four, five, five spells plus a board wipe if I really want. I don't really think. I don't think you want the board wipe. No, given the state, you know. So we will gain six. Uh, propaganda because it's easy. Seven. Uh, I'm not getting murder it. one player at least. Four, sir. Displacer kitten. Uh oh. Um, boop, boop, ba doop, boop, boop. Boop. Card is disgusting. And Vandal Bluff. Nine. 30, 59. Uh, Nib Trigger. I will target the Psionic Resonator with the Vandal Bluff. Yeah, that makes sense. Cross card deal one to Chris. And then I will flip a coin. <clears throat> uh, even is Dodge. So it goes back to my hand. So, so... Resonator is still on board. Uh, Displacer Kitten. I missed the trigger, so oh well. Uh, brainstorm, same thing. Going yep, you are pretty thing. much dead. Right, so we got one or player dead. dead. Maybe not, because if so we will we do that, it, it they're gonna be at like. Flicker, go to flicker the gear hulk with the kitten. Uh, Even if I do get to double up brainstorms, I'm honestly just gonna have two cards. And gear hulk will blink. We will hit. At least you don't have Mind Rain Desire anymore. Yeah. <laughs> What's the dangerous creature on his uh, on his board? Um, Niv Mizzet. Where is Niv? Niv Mizzet is the dragon there on the upper left side, side the Goblin right. Electromancer. Yep, this one. I have a brainstorm. I'm reblank torrential gearhulk targeting the brainstorm that was just in my graveyard. So if you want to respond, I'm gonna uh, 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 pay one and I'm gonna. Half, uh, Niv Mizzet. Uh, I know, I, I, oh, you don't have three artifact? One, two, rip, rip. Oh, I want to oh, back, but... I'll draw a card and deal one to B again. Yep. And then Niv Mizzet will get tapped. Your Hulk will resolve the brainstorm. We will go to, this is actually at 13 now. Um, oh. If I draw a storm card, I'm just not going to play it. So I'm going to stop keeping track of the <laughs> I mean, you don't have the mana really for another storm card anyway. Uh, I can discard it with something and then put it. Yeah, I guess. So, yeah. so I will gain twelve life to go to eighty-one. Okay. Brainstorm. Yeah. Oh, we are pretty much dead soon. Brainstorm goes back to my hand. That card would be put into my graveyard. Is the one he's blinking the creature? Uh, the display circuit then. Yeah. The uh, card on the right side beside the goblin, the red goblin. And this is what can actually win me the game. It's a detection pro. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'll lose wait, two. wait, I'm still so the third. I mean, if you have to... Jay, what interaction do you have in your hand, and I will tell you if it'll do anything. Like, if you want to do something about the dumb loop with the gear, it is it either display circuit in or the gear elk itself. But it, then it's probably. I'm trying to follow this, and I use. <laughs> There's a lot yeah, going. Yeah, we can explain <laughs> it in post, okay? Yes. So yes, this, this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, seventy-nine life right now. Yeah. Uh. So in the meantime, we'll keep resolving it. Detaxium probe. I paid two life to target J, so I get to look at target player's hands. We won't do that yet. That'll trigger Aetherflux Reservoir, which says I gain a life for each spell I cast this turn, which is currently at thirteen. Spell, and it'll trigger Kark the Thumbless, which says whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, I flip a coin. If I lose the flip, return that spell to its, ha its owner's hand. If I win the flip, I get to copy it and choose new targets. It's going to be graveyard. Are there any creatures involved in this little setup you got going on? Yeah, these 
three. Right now, Kark is probably the scariest. Because if uh, I just uh, keep losing flips, I can uh, onboard I, kill everyone with the tax emblem. I think Display Circuit then is the thing that gives you the possibility of flickering your gear. All that was the case until the tax emblem. I mean, if the tax emblem keeps getting put into my hand, I just like win. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. At the same um, time, the there is no target turn, so Gear Hulk Nigmas is gonna trigger. There are no good target, and if you cast it infinitely, like kind of infinitely, you can just kill us with the yeah, ping, ping, ping. Or, or, like, the, the I space think... laser. I can get rid of one of the creatures. Uh, Probably yeah. Kark then, because Kark is what is the I can win the game if I get lucky. It's everything else I have to keep doing work. That makes sense. All right, I'll... I'm going to tap two and I'm going to play Faithful Absence. Yep. Okay, so yeah. then if it will trigger, I will draw a card, deal one to a B, and then Kark will die. I'll get a token. I don't really care. Uh -huh. um, trigger still on the stack. We will... Uh, well, that'll, that'll make it a little too hard. So we'll resolve the Kark trigger first. It's an odd, so it goes back to my hand. Yep. At the very least, I can't do it anymore. Niv Mizzet, I'll deal one damage to B, draw a card. Uh, Flank, Gear Hulk. You don't have anything Hulk. to bring back a creature in your graveyard, right? Nope. No. No. Uh, Valakid Awakening is what's getting cast. Oh god, okay, yeah. And then that goes to... Oh, I get to gain 13. Yep, so you're at 92. Yeah. Oh god, we are dead. We are dead. I'm so confused. I will say with no more interaction, I can do one, three, three more spells, which would be 14, 14 plus 15, 29, plus, yeah. 45. Yeah, so I should have it. Now you're short Sorry. a little bit. Yep, you're like... Short by well, seven, or ish, yeah. like around that. And not... <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty... <laughs> I, We're pretty I good either we way. Keep, oh, we can keep going. I, I don't think I. We, uh, the only way you can, we can kill you is by commander damage at this point. Oh, I do have the blast on attack that will give me the last one. Yeah, but oh yeah, three blast. So commander damage wouldn't kill him. No, oh, well, but he won. Yeah, because one, two, three, four. Yeah, because it's gonna be at like. 150 something life and it can laser us yeah yeah okay if you want to understand what happened look yep. up in the spell table uh aether flux reservoir and that was right a win con in the deck so I, spell that. I got it i'll read yeah. it up to you so it's whenever you cast a spell you gain one life for each spell you cast this turn so you gain one life two life three life four life and you keep accruing that over and over for each spell that you were to cast then it has an activated ability of pay 50 life. Aether Flux Reservoir deals 50 damage to target creature or player. Right now he is at 92 life. He can cast three more spells, gaining 14, gaining 15, gaining 16 life. Pushing and, him. And, and, uh, it, 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 he also has Blasphemous Sack, which is and the last And there's a very, very last one, which is gaining 17 life. Putting him just high enough to now kill us. That's with three shots of the, the space yeah. laser. With boom, boom, boom. <laughs> So that yeah, was a stormy turn, turn, like you said. Holy mm -hmm. fuck, dude. I see. But at the same time, storm turn are very confusing. They are kind of scary and dumb. And this play circuit then was dumb. Croc is dumb. Uh, it's just one of those things. But good game. Good game and game. Okay. All right. Nice. I tried. All right. So now let's go through the rotations. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, start with Jay. Then metal and then down to UKC. So Jay, how did you think that game went for yourself and the overall board? Um, I think it went, went really well. I right. uh, I'm still learning how to like focus on what's happening and trying to understand what all the different cards do. Um, so following it was a little bit harder, mm -hmm. but um, I liked how I didn't understand what Aries was doing, but it was pretty cool. All right. Um. For me personally, I, I think I'm disappointed that Halbar didn't win. I was definitely planning on taking everybody out with commander damage. He was definitely doing some work, though. Definitely was, yeah. definitely made, had made a threat to the board state, which had to create a lot of interaction from ourselves ourselves to really deal with that ginormous god, basically, thing. I tried to do something about it. That is not my best. You had done so. All right, so Metal, how did you think of that game? What did you think? 
I think I, I look at some card and I think I, I have too many card I want to play, which is kind of a good thing and a bad mm -hmm. thing. I had a good all in hand, but I wasn't sure I could have played that. I was like, nah, I wanted to play other thing because I want to test the, t the deck without them. That's fair. And I think the deck did the thing. But I, I think it was like, Esper something all really helped me to get my mana up. But at the same time, every time Jeru was there, I couldn't really hit with it. So maybe Esper something all is like too anti synergistic with the commander. It's not a bad option to include depending on like the way people you're facing. That's what I've noticed. Like, obviously, it's still a very, very good card, but the, it does have times where it's like moot almost depending on the gameplay. Yeah, uh, but it is with it doesn't synergize with the commander. Yeah. So. But at the same time, if your commander is kill like it has been this game, it is probably better to have this person than all in the deck. Just fair. Uh, it was a fun game. I think everyone was scary. Like Jay could have killed us pretty fast <laughs> in the game, to be honest. Like, if you guys didn't keep attacking my artifacts. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. Uh Chris, you were scary if you will eh. If you so were, uh, what I was if, trying to do was basically just use all the bugs yeah. to fly in and draw a bunch of cards with uh, re Recon Mission. Yeah, and then take was... my wing from there. And if maybe you can get something like anything that buff your creature and yeah. kill us, maybe. That was their goal. Yeah, yeah if you yeah, guys and... could untap, you would have definitely been pretty scary. And may even me, if I had to untap the Bolstranic Resonator... 12 card is kind of a lot and I've, and you kill my Aurelia that mean I would been I would have been able to have street figure mm. street figure is like 18 card no card in that but yeah but this is one of the card I, I talk about choose a card in your end and put it on top of my library but all, uh, all the second part is not important but still it's put more a card like on top yeah yes I still have to put a card I want on top. It could be anything. It could have been Godo. It could have been Eroas. <laughs> Ardwick. I uh, yeah, so like two. You had some big... you had some options there. Uh, and it was only the first figure. And yeah, it, I think it is a fun deck, but I need to play it more. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, and, and it was very fun to see the storm. You think deck. that? You right, guys, I'm so sorry, but oh, I yeah. gotta hop on another stream. It was no totally worries. nice to meet you guys Bye. and play with you. I hope we can do it again. Most definitely, Jay. Be good. I yeah, will do, do my yeah. best. All right, ciao. Uh, ciao. All right, now, Case, based on what the how he's playing out, did you think if his deck performed a little bit like more efficiently, do you think you'd be able to interact with it as we did with this game? Uh, Jays or medals? Uh, medals. So I think with medals, uh, it's just small things that you like learn over time. Mm -hmm. Um, with that deck, from the looks of it, because. Even with if you just go back to the last attack and Audric triggered, um, instead of just going full face, you can actually the real strong thing you can do with Audric is force your opponent to block with their two oh, yeah, value creature. Or you had a token that was just gonna die anyways that you could have forced Nim Mizzet to block. So that would have just completely set me back a lot. Um yep. I don't think I could have made you lose one of the two Odricks, which I right? yep. So Odric, oh. the one that you've been saying, like you just like they're unblockable. They're not actually unblockable. You just oh, decide how that player blocks. Yeah. So with the value creatures, um, I can or even if you have it. extendable ones, you I don't can. Think Goblin Electromancer destroying Goblin Electromancer would have made the difference. It could have helped and a I bit, don't... but still, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if it's it's a, happened, is a, um, a few turns ago, that's what I'm saying, is that would have been run that's really big, but even the last turn, like, I needed mana from Electromancer to go off, oh, and, and Niv misses a lot of stuff, too, as well. Oh, I thought it was a 6-6. Six, a six, six. It's why, because, I like you said, I could have put the... I can copy at Niv Mizet and force it to block, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. I, thought, then... I, I thought Niv Mizet was a 6-6. Six, six. It, is, it is why I, I was like, no, I go full swing. Maybe it's not to be... Gotta adjust to things out that way, yeah. But and no, then... yeah. And I don't think losing Electromancer really hurt you a lot, right? It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have hurt me a lot on the last turn. But, but when I two, yeah. did the... Um, Mind's Desire, I was completely tapped out and, yeah. like, needed that one extra mana from Electromancer, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, it, it is weird because I play Odric a lot, but I always forget that I can make people block in not a good way for them. Yeah. Uh, it's the thing, I I'm I just like to bring their life down, so... Not bad. Now, yeah. now Otherwise... Casey, do you think that you should you should potentially swap out uh, Niv for Nira, do you think? Because you didn't play Nira? Uh, no, Niv is really hard to cast with the six pips. Mm -hmm. And Nira is a lot more fun. The issue with Nira this game is there was just a lot of like early aggression. Yeah. So they was hitting people for fourteen, and uh, Metal was swinging in for a lot of damage as well. Oh. So it was really hard to play Nira um, and just say go without having like any other value um so like if i had a ponder brainstorm things like that that i could have paired with nira this game i would have done that because then i could say nira go and then hold up a random spell yeah but when you do nira go and nothing else when you already have double vision aether flux reservoir uh, or like other scary things like the amulet it's really hard to have that stick that's fair and the first time i had six or more mana i think was the turn that i played mind's desire first yep. um and that obviously was a much better play than just playing nira that makes sense all right so on that notion uh let's do a quick little recap so do metal and then casey say who you are where we could find you and we'll do a quick round out all right so metal after you. Hello, I'm uh, Metal Manuel, also known as Monsulite on Twitter. I'm at Monsulite on Twitter. I'm mostly a budget brewer, except for the I own, not <laughs> all of them. This one, maybe if I do it, it's not going to be budget, because I don't think on a budget you can do something that back a punch enough. Uh, and I'm still, don't, I still don't have uh, what articles coral rack and the sensei divining top but yeah so. a couple little big big hitters for the most part you know they are gonna be better than the card i did put in the deck but i just don't have them so no but yeah if you want to look at some brew i post some of them on twitter at month's light so right, sweet we'll it check. has been a long time since i posted one i think it's almost two weeks but i have busy week at job so I can't really. Not worse. So check out the deck list he's got. Pretty awesome there. And Casey. Uh, yeah, I'm Casey, also known as Aries or Value Engine 88. Uh, I believe we're going to start doing some more streams on my own actual channel this upcoming week. Going to talk with the uh, content creators you've been seeing me on streams with already. Chris with one more game, yep. see if they want to get on. Um, Homebrew Deck Tech, Tony, see if they'll join. Mm -hmm. trying casually see if they'll join stuff like that that are already ingrained and get a couple of my own fans groups things like that discord going similar to what other content creators are doing to oh, yeah. get streams going. um for the instagram i think i'll start doing uh posting my deck list on there uh similar to the way that chris does because i absolutely love the format that you do thank you much. i think it looks amazing um and yeah so hopefully i can start getting stuff set up up and running and going for that boom all right and on that note my name as always is chris from one more game all the links are at omgmtg uh it was a very pretty damn fun game so on that note remember everyone one more game is just never enough it's time to raid all right so we're gonna raid shan we'll see if that actually works and go from there right. shan is in seven six five four three two one be good y'all